Music therapy is using music as the vehicle to help any client or any student to fulfill a non-musical goal. So our goals are not to increase their music proficiency or even their music education. It's more to increase their physical functioning or cognitive functioning. So we're taking music and using it as a motivator and as a tool to help them accomplish goals that they're already working in the classroom, maybe to reinforce a topic that they're working on, such as telling time or numbers or letters, and embedding it in music so it becomes more memorable, more real life for them so they can see it being used. The clock strike one. 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 Who has number one? Me. Oh, right. You one so we did a hello song and I ask them within the hello song how they feel. It's time to have a call. Ruben, how do you happy. feel? Happy. You feel happy today? Awesome. Can you pass it over? Some of the students can tell me verbally how they feel, and some of them can point to I have a smiley face and a frowny face, and they can point to which one they feel and then we acknowledge it and then move on to the next person. We sing their name within the song. So we take time for each person to give a response, to give them eye contact and acknowledge that they're there and how they're feeling. If I ask them in the music therapy session, they will most often say, I feel happy. Just that one thing for them is a huge accomplishment that they're able to identify how they're feeling so that's part of a routine that we do every time. And because we do it every time, they can expect it and they know and they feel comfortable with it now. I like to use a variety of instruments, but also ones that are easy to play for them so that it's something that they can be successful in. I always use my guitar. And part of the goodbye song, I have them actually strum my guitar as I sing goodbye to them. Goodbye to Sadie, well, it's time to go. Nice job. And that's one of their highlights of the day because they get to be the one that strums and we sing it to their rhythm too. So that's pretty fun. Then we always do a social experience with the music. So there's a kibasa. It's an instrument that you put in your hand and you can basically roll it on anywhere on your body. And it's sensory-wise really effective for all of the students because a lot of times they aren't touched a lot or they kind of crave that feeling of that sensation. So in the song, they're asked where they want to play the kibasa. They can play it rolling it up and down their leg. They could roll it on their back. A lot of the kids like that feeling on their back. And then they get to choose the person that goes next. And so not only are they you know, showing their choice of where they want it rolled, but then they get to choose someone in the classroom that hasn't had a turn. It's kind of this social thing where they get to actually say somebody's name and acknowledge them and pass it to them. I usually present them with three or four choices in a bag and they get to look in there and choose which instrument they want to play. And some of them will choose the same one every, every time and some of them they like to trade around, but it's just giving them the opportunity to choose. Sometimes we'll even um, change out words in a song to fit what they're feeling today or we'll change out the words or we'll cross out that word and we can insert a word that they want. So they're kind of doing lyric replacement. So they're not fully writing a full song, but they're, they get to kind of make it their own. A lot of times these, these kids are told what to do, day in and day out. And in music therapy, I make it very important for them to have as many choices that I can give to them. I've seen it so many times where you are not able to um, communicate with them or they just seem very um, inside. They don't, they don't want to kind of reach out and be themselves. But you start music and getting them comfortable in that musical environment and they open up of who they really are and they get so excited. I love to see their faces when I walk in the room 
and they're like, it's music therapy today. And and it's not me, it's the music, you know, the music that they, they love and they feel safe and they feel comfortable. And we set it up so that they can feel success and they don't always get that in everything, you know, so it's important that they feel successful and important in what, in what they're doing. Bye. Thanks you guys, we'll see you next week, okay? Bye, Bye. Bye.